hey beautiful welcome back to my channel my name is hope and if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face please do well to hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much i love you and please do not forget to turn on the post notification because once i post new videos i want you to be the first person to get notified so in this video we'll be talking about how to use Dettol at least three other ways there are so many ways to use Dettol but i'll be sharing with you three other ways to use Dettol and if you like to see that watch this video till the end do not miss any part without wasting much of our time let's get right into the video Dettol is um an antiseptic disinfectant that can be used for different things it's multi-purpose the common ways to use this is to put in your bathing, maybe a little drop in your bathing water and then bathe with it. Or use it to clean surfaces, you can use it to disinfect wounds and cuts, you know. It can be used for first aid and a whole lot of things. But in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to use Dettol to dry up acne, to cure acne. Yes, guys, it really works. I can show you that I've been using, you can see, that I've been using Dettol for a very long time. Can you see it so i have empty bottles look at this i still have this so i'm not out yet you can see you can see it so i still have this these are the bottles that i've used in the past and a whole lot that i've even thrown away i like to have dettol this is the one i just got you know because i'm almost out so as you can see so i use it for a whole lot of things and i'd like to share with you guys these things that i use it for now i started i'm not my skin is not acne prone but i started developing acne recently look at it can you see i started developing acne all over my face and then my face is rough very very rough i got darker that's a whole lot happening on this face but then i'm going to keep it 100 percent with you guys that's why if i had to quickly do this video because i saw the way it was drying out this thing i said no i need to show my people my beautiful people and then i started having rashes though it's not very obvious but i started having a little bit of rashes on my body so i'm going to show you guys how you can use this to dry up your acne rashes and i how it can also be very effective as a feminine hygiene so Dettol is a disinfectant an antibacterial antiseptic disinfectant so the pimples on your face the acne and all are also bacterials that are you know hidden beneath your face so when you use this um dettol it goes right into the um pores cleans it from the inside and then dries it out completely but then i do not advise that you use this product directly on your skin it is not it is harmful to use it directly on your skin because it will burn you out trust me i'm speaking from my experience even diluting it you'll feel the sensation on your skin talk more using it directly i know some of us like to you know go extreme because once we feel like okay we're going to get better result by doing that but trust me you're not going to help yourself if you even dilute it with water and you don't get the right proportion you will still burn yourself so you have to be very careful how you make use of this right here and i'll be showing you guys how to do it but please do not say i want to now i want it to work faster so that is why i added more no don't do that it has a lot of good benefits and also downside you can use this as a first aid on your cuts and all that tested and trusted so i'm not even telling you guys what i've not tried before i'm not telling you guys to go and try you can see i've shown you guys the empty containers that i have i've been using it for quite some time now so i'll be showing you guys how i use it so first whatever you're doing with dettol you need to dilute it with water as i've said earlier so you can see i have water in here for this you have to use your discretion so no um, measurement particularly but you have to use your discretion. i'm using this cup just to show you guys the amount or the quantity you need just to give you an idea of what so this cup is a half cup which is 125 ml cup but then i didn't still feel it but it's more than half but i didn't feel it so i'll be taking my dettol i'll show you about um how much i'll be taking so this is um a 250 ml it retails for about 1300 to 1500 or even more depending on where you are 
but where i got it from they sell wholesale so you might not get it at the same price and please make sure that you're getting the original when i wanted to get this i went to other shops to uh, ask first there's a shop i went into to ask and they brought out this 50 ml looking very dark and i'm like this is not the detail i know the color is not the same this is not the detail i know that one was looking very dark darker than this color and then when i looked at it i said no this doesn't look and i just told them not to worry i went to another shop to get it and then when you open it i'm still going to show you other ways to know the original sometimes you might not know except to put them side by side but you have to be conscious of these things look at this color if your dental does not have this color then you probably must, must have gotten fake so make sure that look at even this one that i use you can see their color but this one was looking like very very dark colored so looking at it i just knew that this is not what i wanted and i just told them outrightly sorry i don't want this and i went to another store to get this so look out for that so i'll be taking half of this cup inside the cup there is let me show you guys there is like a ring inside can you see it? two rings actually inside so i'll be doing the i'll be using the first ring that's the measurement i'll be using the one down this one not the one on top the one down i don't want it as much as this so i'll be using the one down so i'll be taking um like i said the first ring i'll be using that about that quantity and i'll be pouring it into my cup of water when you pour it you're going to get the color is going to change to this cloudy white kind of um color so if your detail does not give you that color you probably must have gotten the fake so here can you see it it will instantly give you this cloudy oh my god just pardon me cloudy um color so that's what your detail should look like after you have diluted it so if it doesn't give you this color you must have gotten the fake one you will need a cutting wool or cutting wool i didn't say cutting pad a cutting wool but if you want to use a cutting pad and you know how to use it that's okay but i use cutting wool and i'm going to show you the reason why i use cutting wool so here i just dip it into and then focus on only where you have acne please focus on only where you have acne I have somewhere on my forehead there, but it's already drying out. I've been using this, like I said, for like three days now. So I just decided to show you guys before it completely dries out. So this is almost dried out. It was really looking very rough there initially, but it has almost dried out. But I'm still going to put... The truth is, I'm not going to um, lie to you that this clears... Um, this clears the mark after it has dried it out because trust me it is not um a skincare product that should clear dark marks but i know it dries out the pimples but i've not experienced it clearing dark marks so i've seen some youtubers say oh it clears dark marks and uh clears dark marks on your skin marks from the acne and all that but i really do not believe that so when you put this, you begin to feel tingly. Is that a word? Not tingly per se. On only that area where you have applied, you start, you begin to feel like something is actually going on inside. Like it's pepperish kind of. I'm trying to look for the best um, word to use. I don't want to mislead you guys. On this channel, we keep it real. You know, so that's how you begin to feel on that area where you're putting this and as time goes on as it begins to dry out the lesser the feel like the first day i applied this on my acne and pimples hey it was just like i rubbed um pepe 
<laughs> that I felt, but after a while it disappeared. So that's why you have to be sure and be careful that you're not putting too much in your solution and you're not using it directly on your skin because this thing is actually very, very um strong and shouldn't be used on your skin directly. I hardly have acne, like I said, but since I'm seeing it on my skin, I have to deal with it. And then I have a little bit of rash coming out around my neck. I don't know what I'm reacting to anyway. So all this I'm doing on my skin, I'm going to leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes, depending. If you have a sensitive skin, you can, um, if you have a sensitive skin, you can do 3 to 5 minutes. I have a sensitive skin, but then I've, I noticed that I can tolerate it for at least 10 minutes because I didn't make it too harsh. I didn't make my solution too um strong yeah so if you make your solution too strong you might not get to wait for that long but then i still don't advise you to make your solution strong in any way do you understand guys so that is the way you can use death oil to clear your acne you begin to feel the dryness even this you'll see that you notice that it started drying out so you begin to feel the dryness over time as you use it so that's that on how you can use and then i don't throw the water away i just pour this straight into my bathing water and i bathe with it i also use this as feminine hi feminine hygiene is it feminine or feminine i just pronounced it anyhow <laughs> so i use it for feminine hygiene this is just something i do right so i don't know what i'm going to name it but then i'm going to describe how you use it what i do is at least once a month i pour this into um that bucket and then put a boiling water, a very, not warm water, boiling water into it. So if you're using any bucket at all, make sure that the bucket can carry you. It's, I mean, then don't put all your weight on it, but we'll get to that. So I pour like about one cover of this into the bucket of boiling water. Very hot water, not warm water, boiling water, boiled water, hot water. I pour it into the bucket about halfway. You don't fill it to the brim halfway through the small bucket and then pour one cup of this a cup of the dettol into the water and what you can put salt maybe like a spoon of salt a small spoon of salt or half spoon of half teaspoon of salt yeah and then you sit on it cover yourself with a big towel and then just sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes yes the steam can be very crazy but then just manage you can i what i do sometimes i stand up from time to time because i don't want my skin to burn i am doing this you know with care so you have to be very careful i do it and it's been working for me just the same goes straight into your um body right from your vj so this is also a very good hygiene for women because we menstruate every month and we know a lot of things come out of our bodies the truth is i don't this is not like a medical advice yeah but i do it and it's been working for me so that is um another way to use it so if you find this video helpful please do well to hit the subscribe button and share this video to your friends if you have ever tried any of these tips that i've dropped here and it works for you i want you to drop a comment and tell me how you applied it and then if there's anyone i did not mention here that data can also be useful for i still want you to comment and tell me what tell us what how you know other ways that data can be used very very important ways apart from the ones that i mentioned in this video please i want you to comment down below and tell me how it is done tell us how it is done and what to use it for so guys if you find this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up a huge thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed you watched up till this time and you haven't subscribed subscribe now <laughs> thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye